just walled up defensively. Cody Riley unable to create an angle to be able to get a cleaner finish. Matthews in the lane, gets the bounce. And six straight points for Washington after UCLA started the game up 5-0. For their final regular season game, this is their third straight road game. It's a makeup game from early December. It was canceled or postponed, I should say, because of COVID. Another bucket for Hawkes. Bay goes right at Bernard, missed the shot. And Bernard able to block out Bay, gets it ahead to Clark, and he soars to the bucket and gives the Bruins the lead. That's only second fast break bucket that they've had the entire game for UCLA. So the program is back. I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon as long as that man's on the sideline. You have UCLA, USC, and Oregon State, which all made it the Elite Eight last year as Hawkes cleans it up inside. It's a 7 nothing run by UCLA to start the second half. Maybe they'll get the respect the following year that a lot of people think they should get but aren't getting this year. I, I was under the impression that there is Clark gets a steal. It's going to be a highlight on the other end. Nope, he decides to lay it in. I wanted to go run and shake their hand at the as soon as the game ended. But when we played Duke my freshman year in Poly Pavilion, beat him by the way. J.R. Henderson had 18 in the game. Toby Bailey was outstanding. They need Brown to get going here. Six points. That came in about a minute in the first half. Has not scored since. Matthews and the follow jam by Langston Wilson. Certainly here in the second half. Akez facing up. Spinning on Matthews. <laughs> and that's the fourth foul on Matthews. Count the basket and one. Do you ever play? I mean, you, you work out all the time. I know you do. But when you go play those games, there's always the one guy in the gym that you just, you need a bucket, you give them the ball, they frustrate you, they annoy you. They draw fouls on you all the time. That's Jaime Hawkes. And again, there's a toughness to him. Mick Cronin touched on this. Here's Hawkes. They continue to milk him. Oh, that's a foul. Yeah, got pushed by Bay. No call doesn't matter. He makes the shot anyway. 26 now for Hawkes. 11 of 14 from the floor. With a 14-point lead at the seven-minute mark, Jaime Hawkes with 28 points for the Bruins. He's missed just three shots all game. Here's Hawkes. Oh. Spinning, misses the shot. Riley's tip won't go. Riley goes back up, has it blocked, got it back though. Here's Singleton, buries a three. Offensive rebound, kick out, and he dominates off the off the key, off the elbow on both sides of the floor when he's helping. Might get him back this week in Brooklyn. Campbell gets that one to go. Just a second basket, and the lead is 20 now. It makes things difficult, but it should also help based on the fact that the conference and its national perception has changed. Mike Hopkins not used to losing. And just what a dynamic talent he was and, and still is, obviously, at the next level. Here's Penn for three, and the fans are loving it, but they needed this a long time ago. Wraps up a three-game road trip with a 2 and one record. Lost at Oregon on Thursday, wins at Oregon State Saturday, wins in Seattle tonight. And now gets a little bit of time to regroup.